Today, I would like to teach you how to divide polynomial functions. So let's take a look at an example. So here we have 3x squared plus 23x plus 14 is going to be divided by x plus 7. So the first thing is, I really don't like it in this form. I'm going to instead turn it into a long division problem. Bam. So basically, the term here on the right-hand side of the division symbol will be written outside of the long division symbol. And whatever then on the left-hand side here of that division symbol gets plugged in inside uh, of that long division symbol. All right. So now let's take this step by step. So the first step of this process is going to be to look at your divisor. Identify the highest x value, meaning the highest x powered uh, value. So here we have x to the first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this x to the first. I'm going to look to, to divide that into the highest x power here inside of the long division symbol. This is known as, by the way, the dividend. So what I'm going to do first is I'm essentially going to take x to the first and divide it into my 3x squared. Okay, so 3x squared, just do the work on the side, divided by x. What does that work out to be, or what does that simplify down to? You know that when you take x squared and divide it by x, it's really like saying x squared, where you're taking the 2 and you're subtracting the 1 from it, right? So you know this is going to work out to be simply just 3x. So this value you're going to plug in on the top, and we're going to begin to write out what's known as the quotient, so 3x. Okay. After you do that, what you're going to do, set up a uh, minus sign and your parentheses. Now what you're going to do is you're going to think uh, about multiplication. You're going to take your 3x, multiply it by your x term. Okay, And what does that work out to be? That's simply going to be 3x squared. Now I'm going to put it underneath this term because they have the same base and I can subtract them or add them, right? depending upon what the, what the final math is going to work out to look like. The next step then is I'm going to take my 3x and then multiply it to the 7. And that's going to work out to be a positive now uh, 12, uh, 12, oh boy, 21. 21x. It's getting late, ladies and gentlemen. 21x. Okay, and I put it underneath this one because they have the same base. Now, you can leave this area blank since there's no other terms over here, or you can imagine that, you know, this is really x plus 7 is the same thing as saying x plus 7 plus 0, and you can take your 3x multiplied by 0, which is simply going to be 0, and you can plug in a 0 there, right? Doesn't really matter. Either way, it's going to work out just fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this division symbol, uh, excuse me, this subtraction. Like, I, did I mention it's getting late? It's getting, what time is it? Oh my God, I got to go to bed. Yeah, 112 in the morning. Not a good idea to keep doing math. Anyway, um, so take this negative symbol here. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to, uh, play, okay, all right, focus, focus. Take the negative symbol and you're going to distribute it, okay, to each of the following terms inside of that parenthesis, okay? So what you're going to do now, Erase the parenthesis. Everywhere you have a positive symbol, erase it. Okay, so I highly suggest you use like a pencil here. And then just plug in or just write the negative sign. Okay, now do the math. This totally cancels. 23x minus 21x is simply going to be now 2x. And then 14 minus 0 is obviously just 14. Okay, good. Now it turns out we're going to do the same exact process. Okay, except here we have like our new dividend. So we're going to take this x and we're going to figure out how many times can that x go into the highest x term in here, which is just the 2x, right? So in other words, write out the math on the side. It's going to be 2x, the dividend value, divided by that x term in the divisor. And 2x over x, you know that simplifies down to just 2. So take that 2 and plug it on in up at the top. Now, this is, by the way, a positive 2. Okay, why is it a positive 2? Because this was a positive 2x. And why was that a positive 2x? Because this was a positive 2x. And why was this a positive 2x? Well, because 23x minus 21x is positive 2x. Okay, so that's why it's going to be added. All right, you're going to add this 2. Cool. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do the same process. Take your negative sign or your subtraction symbol, write out your parentheses, and now do your multiplication. Take this number 2, multiply it by the x, so you're going to come up with 2x. Then take the 2 here, multiply it by the 7, so you're going to come up with 14. And it's positive 14, okay? Because positive 2 times positive 7, positive 14. Now, distribute that negative symbol. Boom, and then boom, okay? So erase your, use your pencil, erase that, erase any uh, positive signs, and just plug in now all the negatives, okay? Do the math. Look, lo and behold, this cancels. And wait a minute, that cancels as well, so the remainder here is going to be 0, and that's fantastic, okay? That means we're done. 
What that now means is that this quotient up here is the answer to the division. All right. Now, if you'd like to check yourself, I suggest you do the following. All right. I'm going to rewrite this equation out. Right, taking this polynomial function, dividing it by that, it would look like this if I wrote it in fractional form. Okay, 3x squared plus 23x and then plus 14, all divided by now x plus 7. Somehow when you do this division, you realize that it works out to be that quotient of 3x plus 2. Now, how do we check ourselves? Well, you can simply use a plug-in method. In other words, say x is equal to 2. Plug in 2 everywhere you see an x. Okay, so it's going to be 3, then times 2 squared, plus 23 times 2, plus 14, all then divided by now, 2 plus 7. And that better equal now, 3 times 2 plus 2. Start doing the math up here. Right, 2 times 2 is going to be 4, 4 times 3 is going to be 12. Plus then, 23 times 2 is going to be a 46, plus then 14, okay? All divided now by 9. All divided by 9, because of the 2 plus 7. And that better equal now, 6 plus 2, right? 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2, all right? So that's going to be 8. Cool. Now, simplify this on the top, okay? So you can do this in a bunch, it doesn't really matter what you do in terms of adding it together, it really doesn't make a difference, right? So if you take, uh, let's say you take 12, add it to the 14, right? That's probably the easiest, it's gonna be 26. And then when you take 26 and you add it to 46, you're gonna get 72. So 72 now over nine is equal to eight. Is this a true math statement? 72 divided by nine, is that eight? Of course it is, right? Of course it is. So now you know that you did the division correctly and you know this is the correct quotient. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I do hope this video helps you out. And if you don't mind, if it did help you, like, subscribe, even tell some of your friends or classmates. All right? You don't have to be friends to tell them about our channel. But I guarantee if you tell them, you'll become friends. Thank you so very much. I look forward to helping you with more problems. We've got thousands of solutions out there just to help you through your class. Take care.